Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. I'd like to call it exponential, but it's half exponential, half polynomial. So we have 4 to the power x equals negative x. And we're going to be solving for x values. There's a couple things we can talk about. One of them is, are there real solutions? Second, are there any non-real complex solutions? All right, let's try to talk about all of those as much as possible. So when you have an equation like this, you're probably thinking of a special function, aren't you? We'll get to that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and look at the real case first. Because if there's a nice solution, an integer, a rational solution, we should look for that first, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and raise both sides to the power one over x. So I have 4 to the power x equals negative x. And I want to go ahead and use the, let me see if I can change this a little bit, I think. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over x. And that'll give me something like this. x times 1 over x is equal to 1. So that's going to cancel out. And then here... And I want to write that on the left-hand side. We're going to get negative x to the power 1 over x equals 4. Does this look nice? Well, sort of. So here's my goal. I want my base and exponent to be the same. How can I achieve that? So there's actually a way to do it. And that can be done by substitution. But we're going to need to work it out a little bit. First of all, one thing to consider in this scenario is since we're looking for real solutions, we have 4 to the x and negative x on one side, right? 4 to the x on one and negative x on the other. Notice that 4 to the power x is always increasing, right? It's an exponential function. And negative x has a negative slope, therefore it's always decreasing. So that means they should have one intersection point. We have a function that goes like this, another one that goes like this, so they should intersect at a single point. Make sense? So, another thing that we can derive from here is that if you look at this carefully, 4 to the power x cannot be 0 or negative. In other words, it's always positive. So we say, if we say that this expression is positive, but that means x is negative. Why? Because negative x is positive, meaning that the opposite of x is positive, which means x is negative. So x is less than 0, great. That's also a good finding. Now, under these conditions, we're going to go ahead and look for a nice solution. Okay? Let's see how we can find it using substitution. Since x is negative, at this point, you can go ahead and replace negative x with something. Because negative x is going to be positive. So you know that we'll have a positive base and a negative exponent, and we'll get a 4 from there. Interesting, right? That also gives you some ideas, but let's not talk about those yet. I don't want to give it away. So, but this can also be done differently. Like, I mean, you can replace negative x with something like, I don't know, a, and then you can find 1 over x from here, so on and so forth. Should we do that? Maybe. Okay, let's do it. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So... Here's what we're going to get. I'm going to replace negative x with a. That's going to give me x equals negative a, and 1 over x is going to be negative 1 over a. Good. Now, replace negative x with a, and then you're going to raise it to the power 1 over x, which is negative 1 over a. And that is equal to 4. Now, at this point, you can leave it like this. What is uh, What does a to the power of negative 1 over a mean? It means 1 over a to the power 1 over a equals 4. And from here, you we get a to the power 1 over a is equal to 1 over 4. Is that helpful? Not that much, sort of. So here's what I'd like to do. I want to turn the base into the reciprocal of something. So in other words, let's go back a little bit here. By the way, I got also got to change the eraser. Okay, so... Let's, let's do this instead. Instead of just working with this, I want to call, 
I want to get rid of this too. Here's what we're going to do. I want to go ahead and set x equal to negative 1 over u. You can use another variable, but I just wanted to use u, not to use the letter u. And we know that x is less than 0, right? Because negative x is positive. So since x is negative, this is negative, which means u is positive. Great. So we got a positive quantity. This means x equals negative 1 over u means 1 over x equals negative u, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and make the replacement. We have negative x to the power 1 over x equals 4. Now I'm going to replace x with negative 1 over u. So negative x is going to be 1 over u, right? So 1 over u to the power 1 over x, which is negative u, and that is equal to 4. Great. This is what I was trying to get because what is a negative exponent? It'll flip, right? So 1 over u to the power negative u just means 1 over 1 over u to the power u, but that just means 1 over 1 over u to the power u, which is u to the power u. You can directly do this because the reciprocal of 1 over u is just u. Okay, you got it? <laughs> you got it. So this is u to the power u equals 4. Yes. Great. This is what I was trying to get. And from here, you can immediately say u equals 2. But is there only one solution? And the answer is yes. If you consider the graph of y equals x to the power x, and yes, 0, 1 is a point on the graph, you'll realize that this function is increasing on this interval. Okay? I believe this is 1 over e, or negative 1 over y. It can't be negative, obviously. I think that's 1 over e. So 1 over e to infinity, this is increasing. And since at 1 over e, we get 1 over e to the power 1 over e, which I believe can be written as e to the power negative 1 over e. Since 4 is greater than that, we're going to have a single intersection point, which is going to be at 2, by the way. So u equals 2 is a unique solution. Awesome. So u equals 2 is the only solution, but what does that give us? Remember, x is equal to negative 1 over u, so from here, x is going to be negative 1 half. And you probably knew that because when you have an equation like this, think about it, 4 to the power, or let's say you didn't know it, right? If you replace x with negative 1 half, 4 to the power of negative 1 half is going to be 1 over 4 to the power 1 half. 4 to the power 1 half is the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so this is going to be 1 half. And if you replace x with negative 1 half on the right-hand side, you're also going to get 1 half. So the solution checks out. And that is the only real solution. Now, let's go ahead and check, take a look at the graph. And maybe we can briefly talk about complex solutions. Here we go. The graphs intersect at a single point. Great. So now, could we approach this problem as like, like differently for complex solutions, right? So there's one thing we could do. We could go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 to the power negative x. That would give us 1 here because that would be 4 to the power 0. And then we could multiply. Let me write down what we get from here first. They canceled out, leaving us with negative 1. And then we could multiply both sides by negative 1. And that would give us 1. And then finally, we could replace 4 with e to the power ln 4. And then multiply by negative x. And then finally, multiply both sides by ln 4. And that would give us what we are looking for. And in this case, that would be just the Lambert's W function, right? If we apply Lambert's W function on the left, you will be getting this expression because that's what the definition is, right? If you apply it to T to the T, that gives you T, right? That's my T. So from here, you get negative X ln 4 equals W of ln 4. So from here, x would be negative w ln 4 divided by ln 4. And yes, if you work it out, you'll end up with a real value, as well as considering the different branches of the Lambert w function, you should be able to get complex non-real solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.